Hello beautiful, welcome to another Friday. We are gonna talk about the new makeup that's been released announced in sneak peek throughout this past week. Just chatting about the makeup news, getting on top of things, we need to keep up. The makeup industry is moving it. 100 kilometers per hour. And if we don't keep up, we fall behind. I'm also having a matcha. This is from Pop and Bottle. It's the matcha green tea. I found this at my local HEB. This brand actually had some free coffees for us when we were in New Orleans and I really, really liked them. And when I saw at HEB that they had matcha, I was like, sign me up. I'm super excited. I bought a couple because I've been obsessed with matcha. And if you heard me complain before that my husband eats my snacks, I've now added to my repertoire things that he doesn't eat, things with raisins, things with matcha, because he hates matcha. He says it tastes like grass. So these snacks are mine. There is a couple of things in this episode that I already own. There's a couple of things that I already bought. And there's also a couple of things that I'm very, very intrigued by. And we have some like industry news as well. Maybe we'll save that one towards the end. Let me scooch it to the side ooh, so that we can pop up some pictures next to me. And let's actually start talking about the thing that I have on my eyes. I did film this look. I know some people have been asking like, where is the look with this palette? Where's the look with that palette? I've been using this new Lethal Cosmetics palette. I actually don't know what this is called. Wait, let me get it. Cause they didn't put the name of the palette on the front, which I don't understand. This is Mellow Groove, Mellow Groove or Mellow Grove? It might be Mellow Grove collection. And this is an eyeshadow palette and there's also three mascaras, but they are in that like the colored mascara formula that they did before. And it wasn't my favorite, so I'm not gonna break into them because there's no point in me using stuff that I already know is not my favorite. And I can just give them to someone else because I actually do happen to have quite a few people living around me here and like coworkers to Ricardo, even more than in Sweden that really love makeup and they love when I give them some stuff. So I'm gonna leave those unused, but the palette is looking like this. It is like a pinky, burgundy, green palette. I decided to do a halo eye. I actually really enjoyed this. And there is one of my favorite formulas in here, which is a pastel with shimmers in it. I think this is super cute. I'm super excited about it. Will say, I am a little confused that Lethal Cosmetics has been like hinting that they're doing a collab. I think we're all agreeing now that they're doing a collab with Avatar The Last Airbender. And then they're just releasing this, just like Ninja releasing this in the middle of this whole promotion thing. I think this is beautiful. And I love Little Cosmetics, but I think we can all agree that that was a little weird. Like it was a little confusing that this is just being released in the middle of it. Like it's beautiful, don't get me wrong. I really like the look, I really like the quality, but like, I'm not the only one being confused. Tell me I'm right. The second thing that I have with me here is from LH Cosmetics and they are releasing their liquid eyeshadows that they call sparklers and they are releasing it in a new shade called Magic. If you've seen me review makeup on my channel doing my roundup reviews, I really like this formula. I ranked it really high. It is a beautiful formula that is super opaque and very high intensity on the eye and it just stays put and dries down. And they released it in this beautiful like warm purple with so much shimmer in it. It's like stunning. There's like gold. There seems like there's so much going on. It is super, super pretty. So I definitely want to do something with this. And I can already say really like this formula and I'm excited that there's some more colors coming out. I would love to see even more colors in this formula. There are like those iridescent shades because I feel like this formula is so good. It would be so amazing in an iridescent formula. I also wanted to say that the new Giorgio Armani bronzers that I said I wanted to buy, they're available. I found mine, whew, I don't remember, but I will link it down below. And I bought this one myself. I don't get Gucci makeup NPR and look at how stunning this is. Oh, you can see. I have a big panel, like a big LED panel, and you can see my camera there. <laughs> and it's so big and luxurious. And like, look at this. Look at the gorgeousness of that. And that is, it looks so beautiful. I actually ended up buying the lightest shade. I usually don't buy the lightest shade. If there's a shade that is marketed as a medium or a light medium, and there's a shade that's like fair light, I usually always go for the one that has medium in it because I tan very easily and usually light just are, they are more cool tone. But this light has a little bit more of a golden undertone and the medium one seems to be a little more on the reddish orangey leaning, like a terracotta way. So this one looks so beautiful, like a golden, beautiful bronzer. Cannot wait, I haven't used it, cannot wait. And if you like me were waiting for this one to get to the US, it is here now, I will link it down below. 
I am so excited. It looks divine. Last week we talked about that there's some new things coming from uh, Bare Minerals and they were like, what do you think it's gonna be? And they were showing us some swatch pictures and I said, I think it's gonna be their bronzers, their uh, glowy blush bronzer hybrids. I think they're gonna be that in a liquid formula. And it is. And I'm kind of excited that it's not the the poofy applicator. I wish it was a doe foot applicator because I feel like that's so easy to app, but also like it's a bronzer, it's supposed to be on a bigger, maybe this is the best application met method because this is supposed to be on a bigger surface area, but squeezy tubes can be hard sometimes, but these are beautiful. This is, I think this is available right now. I really, they're only available right now at Bare Minerals. I will link them down below. I hope this comes to Sephora before the sale ends. By the way, the sale ends on Monday. Monday is the last day to shop. I'm actually gonna go into a Sephora this weekend. My husband was like, okay, you're taking the weekend off. What would you like to do? And I said, sleep, read, and visit a Sephora. And he's like, priorities. <laughs> But I'm gonna go in and visit, but I will say, I wish that these would release before the end of the sale. I do get some PR from Bare Minerals, but I don't get everything, but I will definitely be trying this one out. I might even get more than one shade. They're also releasing exact same tube, but they're, they also have a blush highlighter hybrid and they're releasing those colors in a liquid too. This, I mean, these look so good. I'm gonna have to pick up a couple of them. I think they're both of the formulas are $28 each. Yes, they're both $28 each, which is pretty good price for a liquid product like this. And they look incredible. So this is the liquid highlighting blush. I think it's the exact same. Yeah, mauve glow, pink, exact same shades as they have in the powder. I think this is a genius release from Bare Minerals. They had a hit product, both with the highlighting blushes and the blush bronzer hybrids, and now they're releasing them in liquid. When we're in a liquid craze with the makeup community, I really hope this is a good formula. I am very excited, very excited. I will at least pick up one of each, might even pick up more. I love these in the powder formula, and I cannot wait to wear them on their own or with these mix and match. Like I'm. Can you tell I'm really into this release? I don't know the last time when Bare Minerals got me like this, just send me like everything, just have my debit card, just please. Very excited, cannot wait. Another thing that I am super, they just dropped this. They were just like, can you can you tell the difference? And I'm like, are you kidding me? Simply Posh Cosmetics is releasing a new palette that's called Coastal. They did say on their site that they are restocking the Citrus Punch and the Aurora Lights, and the Citrus Punch is gonna be with their new and improved formula. Their formula before was still good, but their new formula is impeccable, so they're gonna release a new palette, Coastal. Citrus Punch is restocking with the new and improved formula, and Aurora Light, that already has the new and improved formula, are also restocking, and they're gonna restock all of them at the same time uh, for a short pre-order you can use the code and you can get some money off when i know when these are being restocked i will let you know because i want to get the, the reformulation of the citrus punch if they don't send it to me in pr i will buy it myself the color store is beautiful and coastal with that warm murky green on the front are you kidding me are so intrigued so excited I feel like that could be like a summer palette for me to take me through the summer season. Not that I don't have 200 million other palettes here to use, but like, I'm excited. I am excited. The indie brands are just killing the eyeshadow game. No other brand is getting me as excited as indie brands when it comes to eyeshadow. And now when I saw that picture, I, I did one of those makeup gasps. <gasps> the one that people say are faking it. I do that when I see stuff that I'm like, oh, wait to own this. I cannot wait to try this. And that's how I feel about this one. They did post this two days ago and they said that Coastal is near completion from production. So it still will take them some time to ship it here. They might ship it via air though. So it goes quicker. Once we are closer to pre-order date, we will make a new announcement. As for now, we appreciate your patience and support. Okay. So I don't know when, but I'm guessing if they're close to completion of, I would say maybe two weeks. This is me taking a somewhat stab in the dark. Maybe a week, maybe two weeks before the end of April. 
but I will let you know because I'm getting that one too. Other indie brands that are getting into new products and this looks so delicious. This is from Glaminatrix Cosmetics and they are releasing lipsticks and lip liners. It is actually launching this Sunday. And again, you can use a code, get some money off. Again, you never have to use my code. If you don't want to use my code, use somebody's code so you can get some money off. Usually it ends up just taking a little bit off the price, which is always good. Just use a code for a creator that you like and support and want to like keep on the platform. And there are a bunch of people that have codes for Glaminatrix Cosmetics. This one is launching, oh, Sunday the 14th Australian time. If you're living in this part of the world, it's gonna be Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it's two brand new things to the cosmetics line. I love, and I've said this before, I love seeing indie brands launch new products to their cosmetics line. I love them perfecting what they already have, but I also love seeing indie brands branch out and do more things. Velvet Matte Lipsticks and Lip Liners. And they say they're gonna have lip swatches coming soon. Shut the front door. Oh, I'm so excited. I love a slim lipstick. I think there's something so deliciously opulent about a slim lipstick, pulling that out of your bag. I love it. I love it. Maybe that's why I'm into those like click sticks as well, even though me, I prefer like a gloss formula, honestly, with a wand and a tube, but there's something about this, like the slim, slim lipsticks. They get me. I really like them. I just feel fancy. Okay, here's something that I already bought. <laughs> Thrive Cosmetics got me again. I impulse bought this new triple threat color stick. They released a new color called Natalia. It is a bright orange. It seems to be a bright warm orange as well. And this is a blush and a cheek stick. And I am very excited. I love... I love an orange blush, I love an orange lip, and this is a lip and cheek color. And when they swatch it on the lips, it seems like it dries down matte, which seems like a good idea for the cheek portion for me. I do prefer something that dries down a little, I don't mind if it looks, this is powder though, but I don't mind if it looks a little glowy, I just prefer when it dries down. So I'm excited. I don't know, I'm getting into Thrive. This is $36, which is quite a high price for a makeup item, but it's orange, they got me. I guess I'm out here trying Thrive Cosmetics. Do you have any favorites from the brand? I know a lot of people are gonna say tubing mascara, but I have realized that tubing mascara isn't for me because you have to use like warmer water to get the tubes to come off. But I actually really, really don't like washing my face in warm water. I like washing my face in cold water. So for me, tubing mascaras, the removal process, it just turns into a hassle. I just really like cold water. Again, I'm saying it the way I said it last time. Maybe it's the sweet in me. There was a new brush set from Sigma. We talked about the eyeshadow palette last week, but Sigma also did release a brush set. I think they have like pre-released the brush set now. I find it so funny. A lot of the people that were at the event, we all got this brush set. It is beautiful. I use it in the video that's coming on Monday. On Monday, I'm gonna be using this brush set. It is stunning. Sigma does really amazing brushes. And again, you can use a code there as well and get some money off. I thought it was so funny because everyone at the trip got these brushes and then I saw everyone posting, oh, there's been like a pre-sale is going on right now. Click my link and you can like, you know, there's like a hidden pre-sale. I never got that mail. I never got that mail. I'm like, am I not on this emailing list? Because everybody was posting about it. And I'm like, I even searched in my inbox. I'm like, no, no mails from Sigma. I guess I didn't get the mail, which is totally fine. I mean, I don't think that clearly there's been a mistake somewhere, but I just found it so funny. I saw everyone posting. I was just like, <laughs> did I miss something? <laughs> but I think this is available for a pre-sale. I will try and find a link from any of my friends. I'm sure they have it and I can like put it in because I don't have this pre-sale link. I don't know what to tell you, but it is a beautiful brush set. Really, really stunning brushes. They are similar to some very hyped and popular brushes from other brands, but they're not dupes. They're not exactly the same. They definitely put their own twist to them. I will say overall, some of these, like the concealer brush and that like um, the slanted brush, I know a lot of people are like, oh, they're copying BK Beauty. There are so many brands that do that kind of a brush. I don't even know if BK Beauty was first. I think they're the one who made it popular, but so many brands do that, that kind of a brush. And I will say both that one that is slanted and the one that is a concealer brush, they have a little less hairs in them. So they're a little bit more flowy, which makes them a little bit more wispy in application. And I think a lot of people could be really into that. So they're not dead on dupes, but they're definitely in the same neighborhood. I think it's a really good idea for them to release some more face brushes. I think they needed some more modern 
uh, shapes within their line and they look really, really beautiful. And the ones that I've tried have been really nice. Colourpop is releasing the Liquid Light Glow Drops. I did, I'm actually wearing one of the Colourpop, the Juicy, So Juicy Lippies on my lips today. I'm also gonna be trying that formula uh, on in Monday's video together with that new eyeshadow palette, this one. I, I'm trying this one out on Monday as well, the blue palette. This actually is way more blue than I thought it was gonna be. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a fun one. But now they're releasing some glowy drops. I have not gotten any of the past releases from Colourpop. It's like they heard me saying, I'm gonna review every Colourpop release in 2024. And they're like, don't send any anything to her. She'll buy it anyways, which I did. And honestly, I really like these lipids. I think they're really nice. The lip liners are a little too creamy for my liking. But again, if I don't receive this in PR, which again, there's no problem. If I don't, I'm gonna buy it myself. I might even see if I can pick it up at Ulta. I wonder if this one turns up at Ulta because like if we're going to Sephora, I might be able to convince my husband to go to an Ulta too. You know, like prolong the suffering. <laughs> Yeah, what we're actually doing, there is a really beautiful Whole Foods at the Domain in Austin. I went in there just by chance because I was in the neighborhood and I needed to buy some eggs before I took an Uber home. Yes, I did go home in my Uber with my eggs. And I went in and the Whole Foods is so stunning. It's like an experience. It is so beautiful. So I told my husband this weekend when we're off, we're gonna visit that Whole Foods. And I'm like, we can even have lunch in there. Like it's beautiful. And there's no Ulta at the Domain but I think I still make it work. It comes in sun o'clock, icy champagne, petal, petalite, petalite. I think I'm saying that correctly. Soft baby pink and Venice Boulevard, bu Venice Boulevard, a warm golden bronze. I think for me, I like the undertone of the warm golden bronze more, but I think it's gonna be too deep for me. So I'm gonna go with the icy champagne. I think that's gonna be still a good one for me. It still looks like it has that vanilla, not too silvery undertone. So I think I'm gonna try that one. It is dropping, yes, it's already available. You can use the code and get some money off. I think I'm gonna see if I can get it at Ulta because I did an order just now with Colourpop and I bought two lippies, two lip liners and the palette. And I don't know if I wanna make an order just to buy a liquid highlighter. So if it's not at Ulta, I might just wait uh, for a couple of releases at Colourpop and make an order. But I told you, I'm reviewing everything that Colourpop releases the whole year of 2024. This will be reviewed as well. Mark my words. Speaking of glow, e.l.f. has released, or is the, oh, they are releasing, they, and wait, they're releasing on the 11th. Okay, so they're releasing, I think the, as you're seeing this and they're bronzing drops in three different shades. I think it's that kind of a thing that you can use all over your face or mix into your foundation or maybe just work even as a bronzer in the perimeter of your face. We will say the big difference between these and some of those other bronzing drops that I've seen is that these are opaque. These look like they have pigment. I've tried the one from Pacifica and I've tried the one from What's its face? Oh, Glow Recipe. I prefer the one from Glow Recipe and it's more sheer. I like that this one comes in three shades. That's really nice, but it's also like pigmented. So I don't, I'm not gonna go and order this one myself. This is one of those products. I have two, one that I like, one that's meh. I definitely don't need more, but I'm dying to see how people feel about these because like you're with me, right? You see this picture, it looks a little opaque or maybe it's the swatch. Have you seen anyone use these? I'm kind of intrigued, but at the same time, I'm kind of not. House of Siage always has the weirdest collabs because they're like this super bougie, extremely expensive fragrance brand that you can only find in department stores. And then they do collabs like this one with like Batman. Last time they did with like Bugs Bunny. It's like the weirdest crossovers where you're like, who is this for? But maybe this is exactly what the ladies over at Neiman Marcus is looking for. I don't know. I've smelled some of their fragrances and they haven't really been my journey. I also don't love their packaging, but I will say this one, I think they did a good job with like the skyline of Gotham City. I think that's super amazing. And it is, I don't know if this is what Batman would go for, but I am not well read enough on DC Comets to know if this is a Batman fragrance or not, but it is candied apples. I don't know about you, but that doesn't scream Batman to me. Pear leaves, magnolia. 
Smoky Rose Violet and Leather Accord. This is what I thought. Violet and Leather Accord better be the fragrance, like, like the notes that I smell in this fragrance. And then it is Sandalwood Musk Patchouli Moss Warm Vanilla. I think the violet and the leather, that is what I would imagine a Batman fragrance to be. But hold on to your candied apples, $418. I'd rather have a candied apple. I don't understand this name, but sometimes there's a, I mean, you just saw the Batman perfume. There's a lot of times where I'm like, I'm, I feel like sometimes I'm so in tuned with the beauty community. I'm so in tuned with like brands and what people are looking for and like what's going to be a hit and what's not going to be a hit. And then sometimes I see releases and I'm like, I know nothing. I know nothing, Jon Snow, but like this is from Wet n Wild and this is their Date or Dominate collection what? And more importantly, why is this a collection? And why is this the name? Where did this come from? What led up to this? Fifty Shades of Grey was popular like a decade ago. Like you are late, late. I don't understand. I don't understand the name. I feel like, you know, when sometimes you look at stuff and you're like, I clearly missed an inside joke somewhere. But like I said, I feel like I'm pretty in tune with stuff. Like I'm not Samantha March. I watch TV. I don't. I watch Netflix. I watch series. I'm keeping up with pop culture. Date or dominate? Is this like a reality show that I've missed? Because honestly, that this sounds like a Netflix reality show that people love, just like the one Love is Blind. I've never watched it. I don't like reality shows. That I'm not keeping up with at all. But this sounds like it could be that. I'm just, I don't understand. I don't understand. And also, is this supposed to be in the aisles of like your local grocery store? And it's just like, date or dominate. I don't understand. And again, I'm not a prude, but I know other people are. And there's nothing wrong with being a prude. I'm just saying, I think that some people will be perusing the aisles over at local HEB, looking at this and being like, <gasps> mystifying. Jones Road is making a really interesting release. And this is a dense and cushiony lip balm. I really like that they said dense, meaning that it has that lip balm like texture that like hold, you can twist it up, you can twist it down again, you can apply it to your lips. It doesn't get mushy. It doesn't get like, that like kind of a almost goopy texture that some of the sticks have had now and like that I don't like I don't like that another more dense lip balm that I really enjoy is the lawless lip balm I really enjoy that one too it doesn't get it's like a classic lip balm but just elevated so I'm actually intrigued by that uh, there's a lot of skews like there's so many colors I'm like this this brand has money because there's like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12 shades launching with 12 shades that is a lot for a lip balm but i like it i think it looks cute i sometimes get pr from this brand i'm not really their target audience so i'm not surprised that they're not sending me pr because like most of the time the things that they are like into is usually not the things that i'm into but i think there's a shade called me that is like almost like a slightly cooler mauvey beige that looks really nice I could be intrigued. I could be intrigued if I see people getting this in PR and liking it, I might want to get it. Oh, how do they describe me? A cool nude. Well, that's not too far off from what I said, but I'm, I, I could be about this. They call it the lippy stick. Doesn't Colourpop have that? No, they have the lippy sticks with an X. You know, speaking of Bobby Brown, because Jones Road is owned and started by Bobby Brown and the brand Bobby Brown is releasing a new highlighter. Bobby Brown did leave her company, Bobby Brown, and somebody bought it. This is a new shade in the highlighting powder. This is Petal Glow. It says high impact light reflecting powder gives skin shimmering highlights and it's ideal for strobing. Oh, that is a word I have not heard in a bit. Nobody has been talking about strobing for quite some time. I feel like there were some brands that were trying to make strobing happen back in 2017, 18, something like that. I mean, I don't mind it. The packaging is beautiful. And uh, this seems to be a, like more of a icy pink shade, which is not for me, but I like that the brand is like, they're trying to get out there and just release something different, just not something that I need. We did talk about the new palette that's coming from Bella Beauté Bar. It is releasing, when is it releasing? Is it here? Oh, April 22nd. So it's some time left. They're also gonna be releasing some lip oils with this collection. And I think there's a 
brush set in there as well in the collection. This is the Lip Dewy Plumping Lip Oils. I don't know what plumping means. I hope they mean mint. <laughs> I hope they mean mint. I don't know if I'm getting these in PR. I have seen that the brand has already sent me the palette as PR. Like it is in transit. It's coming my way. I'm super excited to be playing with it. Would you, I haven't done a dedicated video in a bit. But would you like to see a dedicated? Because I feel like I would have time. It's been really, really stressful. I haven't had time to do dedicated videos on that. Like it's been a lot, also a lot of things with Cinch behind the scenes. <sighs> like it's, it's, it's a lot. But maybe I have time to do like one or two dedicated videos on palettes if you're interested. And maybe the Bella Beauté bar would be a fun one. So it seems like the lip oils would be coming in different shades. And also like just based on this picture here, since there is like coconut, lemon, raspberry, grapefruit, seems to be like orange, blackberry, maybe they're scented like that. But also the plumping one makes me like, like what do we mean plumping? Or maybe it's just plumping because it's a little thicker and it fills out the ridges of your lips. That can make something appear more plumping. But they're launching at the same time as the palette and it, I might pick one up if I don't get it in PR, but I need to like, investigate what plumping means because I'm not buying chili oil. I'm not going through that again. My lips deserve better. Fleur is releasing some more body sprays. I think that these have been a hit. Body sprays have been very popular as of late. It's not really my journey. It's not really what I want to do. I love fragrance. Like I love fragrance, but I like spritzing a perfume. I can do a cologne. I can do an edit toilet, but body sprays is just not perfect for me. I have one that I bring if I'm like, going somewhere where I'm only going to be like by the pool or being like by the beach. It's perfect for that, but I don't need more, but they sound really interesting. One is dragon fruit, which says it is a fruity floral fragrance. It has pineapple, dragon fruit, and watermelon with pink florals intertwined with warm evocative notes of amber, sandalwood, and vanilla for added texture. I like the, that it has pineapple because I love that. But I'm just like, I don't think I need a body spray. And the other one, Moonstone, it's also a fruity floral one that opens up with glistening notes of green apple, pomegranate. Oh, I love the scent of pomegranate, pineapple and orange. And then it has jasmine and sandalwood. Moonstone sounds so delicious. I need to smell these. I wonder if these are going to be in Sephora. Yes, April 17. What day is that? Okay, so it's after the sale has ended. So no luck getting 20% off, but yeah, I need to smell them because if they're giving body spray energy, I know they're not going to be for me. I'm never going to reach for them here at home over something else. But if they are a little bit more sophisticated, maybe. That Moonstone one does sound really nice. I love the smell of pomegranate. Do we have like a fragrance with pomegranate? I should really look into that. That's one of the, like the fruity scents that I really love. Pomegranate, cassis, like pineapple, <sighs> love it. Likely Makeup is a brand that I have not tried at all. And it is owned by a creator, Jody from It's Likely Makeup. And she has her own brand. And I don't think she has released something in a bit, but now she is releasing liquid lipsticks. And they seem to be the kind of a formula, because I saw her apply them. That is the kind of formula that you can wear it sheer or opaque because she was using it and she was like blurring it on her lips. It looked really, really beautiful. And there are a couple of really cool shades that are coming out. These says that they're coming soon. If I have more info, I'll put it down below. I haven't tried this brand yet, but maybe this is the time for me to try them. That one that's called Warm Bed, it's like almost like an orangey terracotta you know that's up my alley. Speaking of body sprays, if you like body sprays and if you want to try out some body sprays, Sol de Janeiro is releasing a Perfume Mist Discovery set with minis of five different scents and it's $40 and I honestly think that this is pretty cool. So it is featuring the five of the brand's mood boosting scents in 30 milliliter sizes and it's the Sherry Osa 40, 68, 59, 87, and 62. It is coming soon. Again, I don't know if this is going to be releasing at Sephora before the sale ends. We're going to have to see what like happens these the next few days. Monday is the last day, but I think this is really smart, especially for someone like me that only wears body sprays on the go. Having a smaller size that I can actually put in like a beach bag or something like that 
That actually sounds appealing to me. I kind of wish that body sprays would also be sold in like purse sprays, like the travel sprays that perfumes are being sold as, because I would use them more. Then I would actually bring them and use them. I have never tried the brand Exa Beauty, but they are releasing a high fidelity brightening concealer stick. It is $28, which I honestly don't think is a bad price for a concealer. It says that it's an ultra smooth glide on stick concealer with a natural second skin finish and a medium buildable coverage. It's 28 shades. It seems to be a pretty decent shade range. I don't do concealers in sticks like this, except if I have like a breakout, which happens every now and then. I will say I have do not have acne prone skin. I very, very rarely get breakouts. And when I do, I usually get like one. Like I had one, I think here on this side. Yeah, on this side. And the foundation covered up like every, like I didn't even need to worry about that whatsoever. So for me, I don't, this is not something I use. I don't like stick foundations. They're usually too heavy under my eyes. I like a li really liquidy concealer, but it's exciting to see that there are so many different, there was a time when there were only stick concealers, only full coverage concealers. And now I feel like there's some more leeway. Different brands have different like paths that they go down. And I like that there is like variety. You don't have to wait for the thing you like to be popular. Like, you can always find some kind of a variation of the kind of formulation that you prefer. I think Guerlain has like either discontinued and reformulated or just re-released. Maybe they changed the packaging. I'm not 100% sure, but they have re-released the Meteorites Illuminating Highlighting Powder Pearls. And they now have them in four different shades, which I think is part of the permanent line, which did used to be a problem that the, I think they're like, because I think the permanent ones before, they only had like one that was really pearly, lavender, pink. Now they have four shades. I, not this, this is not my level of expertise, but I know that they used to have so many limited edition shades and the more golden shades were usually limited edition. But now they have one, two, three, four. So one is really icy, as you can see, and four goes pretty like warmer. This is a, this is a finishing, illuminating finishing powder. This is not a setting powder. This is what you buff into your skin as the last step. It is not, does not have any coverage. It adds a satiny finish to your skin. Honestly, it is really pretty. I wonder if they kept, cause it has a, uh, like a violet smell to it. And I wonder if they kept that. It is $72. This is a luxury product. And I think that I had the one that was, yeah, the one that says cool, that's like the one that I used to have. And it was like, it was cool. It was not right for me. It just made, it looked like I had this almost like cool film on my skin. But they have one now that's called warm number three. I'm gonna swatch this in, like in store. I'm gonna look at this at a makeup counter because I will say this is a very beautiful elevated formula that really makes your skin look beautiful, but the shades that they had before just weren't perfect. And I'm glad that they realize now that like the, the main shade that they have would like very light and very cool. Seems like Kylie is releasing a blush stick as well. I think every brand is gonna be releasing cream or liquid products and or liquid products before the end of the year. It is just the way that the wind blows right now. It, it's just the way it is. And she's releasing the powder blush stick, which I will say sounds very, very promising. The one she's showing here is like a warm pink. If I do a pink, it's usually a little bit more of a neutral or warmer leaning pink. It looks really pretty. Uh, this is not necessarily, oh, it's, apparently you can use it on your lips too. This is not necessarily a brand that I'm trying to keep up with. It's not that I hate it. I'm just like, you can't keep up with every brand and it just doesn't intrigue me enough to go and purchase something like this. Another brand that I'm like, every now and then I buy something, but I'm not trying to keep up with them is Essence. And it seems like Essence is releasing a full collection based on the color Apricots. So it's called Got a Crush on Apricots Collection. And it has a blush, a baked highlighter, lip care, lip glosses, nail stickers, scrunchie, freckle pen, a bunch of different things. Oh, fussy face sponge. It seems like they're releasing one of those like Juno and Co sponges. It looks cute, I guess. There's nothing wrong with this. I think the Apricot cheek products look really good, even though that blush do be looking a lot like a nipple. Nobody in marketing was like, we should rethink how this pan looks. 
because she do be looking a lot like a nipple. This is something that I want to pick up. This was not available when I made my Sephora order, but it is available now. And well, it's sold out. I, I hope it's coming back. I will buy this when it restocks, regardless of the sale. But this is from Forever Mood. They actually released a discovery set. I think it's sold out immediately. So all the fragrances in minis, and you can like discover and see which one is for you. I love that. It's $24, very reasonable price to try out a brand. I will a million percent pick this one up as soon as it becomes available again. This is exactly what I want for the brand. I want to try it. I want to see which one is my favorite so that I can then go and purchase that one. I think this is really smart. I wish, I mean, most brands do this, but I wish all brands would do this. This one released and I forgot to talk about it, but this is the Hourglass Pressed Powder. This is an airbrush pressed powder. This is a Vanish airbrush pressed powder. This is a weightless shine controlling powder that allows you to set, perfect, and touch up on the go. Non-drying formula instantly absorbs excess oil. I think that this sounds really interesting. And this is one of those things that I might purchase before the sale is over. I really like a pressed powder. It is very expensive though, but since it is a compact that has a sponge and you can take it on the go, I think that's really appealing to me. It has a translucent, a cool beige, a natural beige, a sheer golden and a warm brown. I like that there is a translucent as well. I think the one I want is the sheer natural beige because I don't want a cool. I think that will be the one for me. Again, I want to see if this one is in store. So I'm going to discover this and see. I will say it's very expensive though. It's $48, which is expensive for a powder. But I mean, if it does what it says it's going to do, I think it's going to be a winner for me. Makeup Revolution has finally released a product that I talked about before, and they are releasing the Bright Lights Bronzing Drops, and they come in a light shimmery shade. There is one that is more of a bronzing, one that is a deeper bronzing, and they also have one that's called Rosy Pink, that is, they call a blush drops. Again, I think every brand under the sun is going to be releasing liquid and or cream products before the end of the year. I think this was only a matter of time before Makeup Revolution was going to try and do some kind of a bronzing drop. At least this one is affordable. It is, I think, about 12-ish dollars each. You can use a code. I think my code gives you 20% off at Makeup Revolution US website. So check that one out. It should be available both in the US and on the UK um, European website. So I don't know if I'm going to be buying it and trying it because like I said, this this is not the kind of a product that I use often, so I definitely don't need more than what I have. When I was talking about like what products I thought was going to make a comeback this year, because it seemed like we were bringing back some like older things, I thought that the chubby lipstick was gonna like, there might be a chance for that one to make a comeback. Instead, we have been seeing those click sticks from every brand under the sun. But one thing that has been making a comeback this year from actually several brands, and this is one of those things that I really did not need to come back. And it is the sponge tip applicator with eyeshadow in the cap. Now Clinique is releasing one, and this is the high impact shadow play shadow and definer eyeshadow pencil. That is a lot. That is a long edit yourself a little bit that that's a long name. $34 each. There is a chubby pen eyeshadow and then a powder that you put on top. These were awful to work with in the early 2000s. And I have a sneaking suspicion that not a lot has happened to make them easier to work with now. This is for a one and done eyeshadow look for someone who's not that picky with it looking somewhat perfected. That's how I feel about this formula. For me, this is a no-go. Um, I'm surprised to see this make a comeback, but I've seen it from several brands, but I'm just like staying clear. I think I'm going to be buying something from this new release from Mooncat. They are releasing a full collection based on Sirens. I think the collection is called Am I Everything You Fear? And it's basically like a Siren origin story. Some of these polishes look incredible. I'm actually going to go and get my nails done tomorrow and I'm going to paint the, my nails myself. I've been really into that. I've been painting my toenails as well myself. It's been, it's been fun. Like nail polish is fun. And even like on the trip when we were able to do our own nail polishes with Cleona, it just, again, like just reignited my love for nail polish. So I think I'm going to pick up one or two of these shades. They look in incredible and they are launching today and as you're watching this so i might pick up one or two they look so pretty and i want to like paint my nails every day also just this is a sneak peek 
this is all I have right now, but Blend Bunny Cosmetics has changed the logo, which means that something new is coming and they have said that it is a full collection. There's gonna be more than one product based on this logo right here. I I think this is their first collab that's coming now. I know people have asked if it's with me. It is not with me. I have told you before, I am not going to be doing any more collabs. I think my collab days are over unless something really incredible, not that collab moon with Blend Bunny wouldn't be incredible, but something like really different and incredible comes along. I don't think I, I think my collab days are over. I think I've done my part, but I think this might be a collab and I think there might be one more than one product and I cannot wait to see what it is. I cannot wait to try it out once I see what it is. It seems, I mean, look at this logo. It's a little like gothy, a little, watch me be dead wrong. Okay, we have two more like industry news that I wanted to talk about just a little bit because sometimes I do have some insight that I can give and I feel like it's interesting to talk about it. The first one is that makeup brand Ben Nye has filed for chapter 11 bankruptcy and basically chapter 11 bankruptcy does not mean that you are going out of business. It means that, hey, we are having financial problems. Okay, this is me simplifying it a lot. We are having financial problems. We're not able to cover the all the debt that we have, but we want to keep going. Going. So they filed for chapter 11 bankruptcy just to like restructure the whole business to hopefully pay off most of the debt or liquidate it to just restructure the company and keep going. And that's what they have done. But one of the things that this says is to lift the burden of fighting talc lawsuits. The US is a very lawsuit happy country. A lot of lawsuits here are sometimes really frivolous and have no grounds whatsoever but it still ends up with you paying a lot of money to defend yourself for something that's just sometimes really ridiculous. And I will say that that part of the law system or the legal system is just very confusing to me as a Swede. And it's not because I say like, oh, this is bad, this is wrong. It's just, I don't understand it because you can be sued for something that's not correct and still end up paying a lot of money. It's just really confusing to me. With that being said, it's very interesting this thing about talk because not all talk is, it's dangerous. Talk is not dangerous in itself. There are plenty of ways of getting clean, non-asbestos talk. Like that is such a, it's one of those things, it's almost like the parabens thing. People are afraid of parabens and it's just based on somewhat fear-mongering and I do feel bad for Ben Nye for having to deal with these lawsuits because clearly the things that are going into makeup, if you are a serious brand, you ask the right questions, you make sure that your products are safe and I just wish that this fear-mongering would stop. I real like, it's getting to a point where there are brands out there that are financially benefiting from sowing fear into people about things that just aren't 100% correct or based in science or truth even. Like it's just frustrating. So I do feel bad for them and we will keep an eye on this and see if they're able to come back. Ben Nye is a makeup brand that is more based on like makeup artistry, being in makeup artist kits and stuff like that. So it's not maybe a makeup brand, like you might be like, who's Ben Nye? But if you are a makeup artist or if you've ever worked around makeup artists, you've heard about this brand. Another thing that I wanted to talk about, and I saw this over at Point Click Vibes, she was putting up formerly closed Coastal Sense returns to market. And this Instagram account was putting up that she saw that like makeup was back on the side. I cannot see makeup on the side. And I will say I've, I have, and I haven't been able to get back to her because it's been too crazy. One of the former owners of Coastal Sense explaining to me what actually happened with the brand. And if I used to love Coastal Sense, I used to review Coastal Sense. Coastal Sense was one of the first brands that I ever talked about on my channel. That's one of my videos that got the most views back in the day. That's how I built my channel, basically. I love them. But seeing this picture of the things, I'm like, are we coming back with the exact same things? Is this old stock or is this like things that you have produced? Because like, didn't they close like two, three years ago after the pandemic? I'm just, I'm very confused by this because I feel like if you are gonna open up Colsa Sense again, which there's nothing wrong with, we need an innovation. You need to keep up with the time because I don't think that Coastal Sense can open today with the same kind of products that made them 
popular 2014, 15, 16, 17. I don't think that they can get that success again today with the same products. I don't think that's possible. I think they need to innovate. And when I went to the site, I could only find makeup brushes. So I don't know. I don't know if I was looking at the wrong place. The website was a little weird. And I will say every time you clicked on something on the website, I got a new window popping up, which was super annoying. And I was like, I could have coded this website myself better, but I would love to hear your thoughts about this. How do you feel about brands closing down and coming back and then coming back and being exactly the way that they were? Love to hear your thoughts about this because I feel like I have a lot of thoughts. And if you would like me to do a video about that, let me actually scooch back. If you would like me to do a more dedicated video on Colsa Sense, them closing down, a little bit of the backstory and stuff like that, I could definitely like dig my heels down and try and see if I can make that happen because I have, like I said, talked to uh, one of the former owners, but I am wondering what this could mean. I really am. And it's going to be interesting to see because I feel like the way that we used to be excited about makeup, the way we used to shop makeup and the things that became popular eight to 10 years ago, it's just not, it's not the same. It's not the same for better or worse, let's be honest. And yeah, I hope you liked the video. I hope that this was entertaining. Please let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you on Monday for a full face of testing new makeup. There was some bomb makeup in Monday's video. I cannot wait to show you. And yeah, I hope you're having a great weekend. I'm going to sleep in and go to Sephora and read books. Bye.